Ele, Ele, what is this music? It's very, it's very guitarish. What is this? Am I supposed to do a flamenco dance? This is Javita Late, and I don't. Rest. I asked for my theme music. This is too melodic. It's too boring. It's it's like a bad Real Housewives episode. It's very slow and. Uh, you know, I'm Javita Late. I'm supposed to have quick stuff, you know, confusing, moving goalposts and, and EIDL grants that open and close. I'm supposed to confuse people. Things are supposed to go fast. This is like put me to sleep music. It's very charming, Alec. But why am I... <laughs> Whatever happened to my theme music, Alec? You know, I know I'm wearing acrylic scars and they look sort of cheap, but can I have a, a little bit better audio budget? <laughs> I saw you had that video that we had the bad opening credits today, Ellie. But you know, when it comes to Javita Lake, can at least I have better audio, better opening credits? Uh, you know, Sir Loin, at least he has a uh, grass. At least Javita Lake should get some better. You're doing beautiful and great. It's our one-year anniversary tonight. It's our birthday special. And of course, you didn't give me a cake. <laughs> you know, a bacon cake would have been very nice. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Anne, for that beautiful super chat. I really appreciate that earlier today. Uh, but, you know, at least some bacon. <laughs> Hope you're good. Uh, this is LA Late Night, our reverend show that has nothing to do with forced stimulus. I mean, it is about forced stimulus. Uh, it, you know... <laughs> <laughs> but you're not going to find out what day you're going to get your fourth stimulus check. You won't figure out, uh, find out where your EIDL grant is or your third stimulus or what month they're going to vote on as fourth stimulus. But when it comes to fifth stimulus and taxes, oh, we're definitely going to cover that. <laughs> and with that, let me introduce the illustrious man of the hour, uh, the the cow of all cows, the cow negotiator, the cow lobbyist who got second stimulus before everyone else and became a household name and a purveyor of fashion, Sirloin. Sir Loin, how are you on a big night? <laughs> oh, well, I am very good. Thank you for having me here again on your 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 first birthday. <laughs> yes, my first birthday. Do you feel older? I, I, I do not feel older. You look older. What? <laughs> Thank you, Sir Loin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not inviting you to the birthday party. Uh, so, Ellie, uh, for your first birthday... Uh, I was gonna get you something, but uh, the present got uh, got to it before I did. What were you gonna get me? A birthday tax. <laughs> a birthday tax. <laughs> Not a meatless taco. Not a meatless taco. I was gonna get you a birthday tax because you know what Wednesday is. I know what Wednesday. I know what this coming Wednesday is. Uh, Wednesday is a uh, taxorama day. <laughs> it's taxorama day. He's gonna announce that he's taxing everything he can see under the sky. And including the climate. <laughs> yes, so Wednesday is climate taxing day. Oh, boy, I just, uh, I, 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 yeah, so, boy, it's, it's, I'm, I'm just flabbergasted. Do people still say flabbergasted? They do on this show, they do. <laughs> I am just still flabbergasted that uh, the president's looking to ca tax capital gains under the fifth stimulus package, which is in September, for the tax rate for next year, and he's announcing it. Wednesday <laughs> in April. Why? Why is he denouncing in April uh, for something that would be for next year? Why is he doing that? Do you have any idea, Sir Lloyd? I do. W why is the reason? Because Atlanta Housewives has a storyline, so he's trying to give them a storyline. <laughs> He's trying to give them a storyline. Have you seen that show? It's so boring. And so he's trying to preempt them with something dramatic. And dramatic is scary taxes. <laughs> scary taxes, yes. So, you know, the the, the, the capital gains tax. Do you you know what capital gains tax is, right? It's yes, I do. It's it's if you buy something and you resell it um for profit, you pay gain taxes on the gains. That's why it's called capital gains, LA. <laughs> Yes, that's just sort of what it's called. Not capital losses taxes. <laughs> if it was capital losses taxes, we would have been paying taxes on Nancy Pelosi for a long time. Because <laughs> she's a loss. Because she's a loss. We are not paying taxes on her. So I... 
<laughs> so I think next week, I, I think tomorrow, that that Wall Street is going to feel the impact of the president ra- threatening to raise taxes under the fifth stimulus package on Monday. I, I think the very f- moment that Wall Street's going to open, that people are going to start selling. Do you think? I agree. I think that you will see selling across the board. Everyone's going to start selling things on Monday on fear of capital gains taxes next year. You're going to see things that you would never see sold, sold on Monday. <laughs> what, what is going to be sold on Monday uh, that uh, I should anticipate for capital gain? What is, what is capital gains tax fear that's going to get sold on Monday? Florida. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to sell Florida. They're going to sell Florida. They're going to get rid of Florida and sell it right away. They're going to get the fire sale Florida. <laughs> they could sell Florida too. To scare them. There's capital gains tax. They're going to sell Florida. Who they going to sell Florida too? Uh, Huntington Beach. <laughs> they could sell Florida. Huntington Beach. Is that the only person who would buy? Of course, no one else would buy Florida except Huntington Beach. <laughs> They're just going to get rid of Florida to sell it away. Yeah, of course, that's what President Biden expects. They expect America to just sell Florida. You know, Trump was going to sell. What was he going to sell? Iceland or, or Nova... Uh, he was going to sell something to, you know, to Putin. It was either Iceland or Greenland or I don't know what. But Biden, he is going to cause us to sell Florida on Monday. <laughs> And, and, and will we get money for that? Yes. And what is he going to use that money for? To give kids that are 17-year-olds new tennis shoes. <laughs> yes, he's going to sell Florida to raise money for 17-year-olds. Of course, that's all he does. He just gives money to the children. Because children need new tennis shoes, and we're selling Florida for that. <laughs> It's just, it's so predictable, isn't it? It is. It is just totally predictable. And uh, that and grass. <laughs> and teal. And so go around one more time. <laughs> it's, that's what money is coming. Uh, you know, wh- 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 what do you think the press secretary is going to wear on Monday? Uh, it's a hard one. It's between teal, muddle blue, or teal pantsuit, or teal no jacket, or teal skirt without the jacket. <laughs> She has three teal choices. She has three teal choices. She has commentated all the teal choices she can do, and I think she'll wear the teal jacket if that's the day Florida gets sold. <laughs> Where is the president going to sell Florida of, to, for, the, for those capital gains taxes? eBay. <laughs> eBay. Of course I do. Why would I expect? Who do you think is going to be the top seller, a top buyer? Putin. <laughs> Yes, Putin, of course. Uh, so, boy, it's, you know, it's, um, I, nev- I never expected on my one-year anniversary that I would be covering stimulus and, and reporting that in nine months, the president's spending $6 trillion and, and vowing to raise capital gains taxes, corporate taxes, inheritance taxes, personal taxes. You did not expect this. I, I did not expect this. It's just, it's just a lot to cover in, it's a lot. It's a big surprise. I mean, he's he's. How long has he been here? Well, it feels like it ages. <laughs> it does feel like ages. How long? It's been one hundred and one days. One hundred one days. And what has he achieved in the one hundred one days? Taxing the oblivion out of you. <laughs> yes, he's, he's. You know, he's sort of going through each of the taxes and trying to make sure he doesn't miss one. He's trying to t- hit all the taxes in the first hundred days. He's done a very good job of it. <laughs> Yes. Steve, Steve Scalise, who's that voice of reason, uh, said the other day, what has the president done in 100 days, Steve, Steve Scalise says. Steve Scalise doesn't know what he's talking about, LA. Steve Scalise is just totally misguided. The president has achieved a lot in this 100 days. He has literally taxed everything he can tax. <laughs> but he hasn't sold Florida yet. No, he hasn't done that yet. That will be in the next 100 days. <laughs> will he sell anything else? Oh, uh, you know, I don't know. Um, probably Mitt Romney state he wants to sell. (laughs) But he does want to make D.C. a new state. Have you heard about that? Yes, I have heard about that. He wants to make D.C. a new state. It's very interesting. It's just, he's trying to get those 52 seats, uh, in in the, um, in the Senate. And it's, it's very, it's very brilliant. And, and, and do you think he's going to get it? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. It's just, you know... 
we hope that he doesn't. Why, why is that? Because Joe Manchin is saving us from taxes, LLA. <laughs> he is. Joe Manchin is the man that will save America from taxes and save Florida from Huntington Beach. <laughs> yes, that too. Because <laughs> remember, Joe Manchin is 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 the is the is the person that could save reconciliation vote on the the fifth stimulus package in September. Remember, if the president wants to raise taxes, he has to raise that option to Joe Manchin, and Joe Manchin may say no. And so, what do you think about this? I think that if Florida wants to save their butt, they better kiss Joe Manchin's feet. <laughs> That's very true. It's very, that's <laughs> very true. Have you seen the Romney plan? I've seen all the Romney plans. There are more Romney plans than Star Trek, uh, <laughs> than Star Trek uh, sequels. <laughs> there's, there's literally a Romney plan for everything. I think there was a Romney plan for the Oscars as well. <laughs> there was a Romney plan for the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Romney plan, a Romney plan for the Grammys, and a Romney plan for the for the the Latin Grammys, the the the, 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 the Emmys, and there'll be a Romney plan for the Broadway as well. <laughs> Unless Chuck Schumer cuts it, gets to it first. Yes, there's like a Romney plan for everything. Are, are you watching the Oscars tonight, or are you watching me? <laughs> uh, that's that's like a that's a hard question, Ally. Like the Oscars or you? I don't know. Uh, which one has the twelve dollar ice cream? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> then I guess I'm going out for dinner. <laughs> Do you have any predictions about the Oscars? Uh, no, I haven't seen any of the movies. <laughs> have you? Uh, did you? You have? You haven't seen any of the movies? No. Uh, you didn't go to the movie theaters. They were close. So you didn't. Um, you didn't. You know. No, I didn't do that either. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't say what I was gonna say. I didn't do that thing with the hand either. No, I didn't. I didn't go see the. I didn't. I didn't see any of the movies. But it's nice that the that the Oscars really have real people this time. <laughs> yes, you mean not Zoom people? Not Zoom people. I'm tired of an award show with Zoom people. If you cannot stand in front of a bookcase and accept an award in person, then I am tired of seeing your bookcase. <laughs> You don't want to see any more bookcases. No, it's an award show. I am tired of seeing people's bookcases. Show me a darn award show for once, for for goodness, for goodness sake. <laughs> yes, it's true. Ah, uh, so um, <laughs> you don't have any video for me tonight. I do not. <laughs> it's just that there's, there's, the, you know, the, the the White House is just, you know. The White House, um, over the last few days, continues to release these videos, and it's just, um, it, it's it's just sort of the same thing over and over again. And uh, uh, if it's not the grass, there's really nothing humorous about the video. <laughs> In other words, it's sad. <laughs> yes, it's sort of sad. It's like very desperate. It's sort of desperate. It's like. He keeps on talking about how infrastructure is so great. And I'm like, we got that infrastructure is great. And there's another video. It, it's just sort of desperate. It's like that person on eHarmony that won't leave me alone. <laughs> it's like, you know, I, you, you already hit me up with that first video. I don't need another video of you. I'm convinced or not convinced with you. <laughs> I've, I've moved on. I, yeah, you've moved on. Like, why do you have to keep on producing videos about infrastructure, Mr. President? We got it. Can you move on to something different? Like uh, a nice pina colada? <laughs> so it's, you know, it's... Uh... It's 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 one of these days, but I did see uh, like those new those new footage you have. It's very it's very nice. <laughs> oh, you mean the, the new footage that I had on the channel today? Just like this. It's very what what is that, Ella? It's very it gives me sort of it's I don't know. Are you uh, are you auditioning for Star Trek Galactica? <laughs> I'm not auditioning for Star Trek Galactica. What is that? Is that uh, a place where we teleport to the Temple of Doom? <laughs> it's not a place where we teleport to the Temple of Doom. Is that uh, is that where we put Florida when we <laughs> after we sell it in on eBay? We just sort of send it through this. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> is that how Elon Musk gets to Saturday Night Live? <laughs> It's not how Elon Musk gets to Saturday Night Live. Is that one of the tunnels that Elon Musk is building? No, it's not. <laughs> is that is that how Elon Musk uh, finds 
Bit, uh, finds Donkey Coin. He just sort of goes in his little galactic underground thing and just sort of finds it. Is that how he mines for it? No, that's not how he mines for it. <laughs> so you're not going to tune into Elon Musk on Saturday Night Live. I thought it was today. I thought it was yesterday. It's, 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 he's not. He's like May. They, they announced him ahead of time, uh, Elon Musk, for Saturday Night Live because, you know, you have to schedule your entire itinerary around he's appeared on Saturday Night Live. Have you done that? No, of course not. <laughs> so you're not preparing, you know, the next five weeks based upon when Elon Musk is appearing on Saturday Night Live. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Now, if Ron Wyden appears, yes, then I... <laughs> if Ron Wyden was on Saturday Night Live, yes, if Ron Wyden was on Saturday Night Live, I would reschedule my entire next 20 years. <laughs> You like Rod Wyden. I do. I do. He is just, um, he's just uh, very tall on the agenda. <laughs> he's very tall. <laughs> but you did like the, uh, the, yeah, the, the, the new footage we had on the show today. I did. I did, Ellie. You know, it's, it's up there with meatless tacos. <laughs> The, uh, uh, you know, and, and what did you think? There was that one footage that confused me with that person with the arms. <laughs> Which... Which footage with the person with the arms? I didn't have any footage with person with arms today. You should do that, Ellie. The person's like, free me from Nancy Pelosi. Free me from Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Which person was that? I don't I don't have that footage. Oh, you you mean this one? Yes, free me from Nancy Pelosi. Free me from Nancy Pelosi. That's not what that person's saying, so lying. <laughs> Free me from Nancy Pelosi. Get me away from Chuck. And then there's a rainbow for all of us. <laughs> so lying. You're just, you're not enjoying my footage. No one, well, no, I love it greatly. It's just, you know, I want the meatless taco. <laughs> you want the meatless taco. I'm just pissed that I missed my appointment for Amazon Hair. <laughs> you missed your appointment for Amazon Hair? Yes, I was going to Amazon Hair and I was doing the Nancy Pelosi special. And they looked at me and they said, no. This is East London. <laughs> this is East London. We don't do the Nancy Pelosi special. But I'll air tag you. I'll air tag you when we do. <laughs> air tag me when I do. <laughs> well, you know, um, it's a big week ahead of time, ahead of us. A lot of taxing coming, a lot of taxes coming next week. Well, not actually coming next week, but announcement of taxes and are you ready for it? Are you ready for the announcement of the taxes? I mean, it's just, um, I don't know how you get ready for it. How are you getting ready for the announcement of the taxes, Sir Lloyd? I'm expecting there's a, an announcement tax as well. <laughs> there will probably be an announcement tax. Uh, you know, what day is it? Wednesday. There'll be a tax on Wednesday, and there'll be a tax on Thursday. <laughs> Those will be the two taxing days. Yes, Friday will be tax-free. But Wednesday and Thursday will be taxed. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's I, 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 I hope he reconsiders all these taxes. Um, and, uh, you know, so much was achieved last week about climate. <laughs> yes, there was so much achieved last week about climate. It's just sort of a murky glaze haze about what was achieved last week for climate. <laughs> Every time I look up and I say, "Did was this because of last week? Is this is this smoke in the air because of last week? Was this what what, what was achieved last week because of climate? Because if it was, uh, God bless you, Mr. President. Mr. President. <laughs> and next week, uh, do you cli think climate will be taxed? Of course it will. And the week after that, it'll be taxed as well. And as soon as you try to inhale the air, you'll be taxed for that as well. <laughs> So with that, Sir Lloyd, I really appreciate you joining me on our one-year anniversary. And, um, you know, it. Uh, I, I hope you teleport with me. <laughs> To the, I hope you teleport with me to the to the to the next to the next year, and if I have any more people with uh, with uh, with their hands out. Oh wait, I do. <laughs> there you go, Ellie. You with the hands out, people. <laughs> And then that that anime that yes that thing I don't know what it is I love it <laughs> I love it it's very um it's very artistic uh and and this other thing you had oh that thing what is that uh that's where we put uh that's where we put the taxes <laughs> that and this thing yes you have all the things ready for us Ellie. <laughs> 
I'm so you know, if it if the if if it does not exist, Ellie will create it. <laughs> so thank you, Sir Line. And thank you for everyone else that joined us on our one-year anniversary. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. <laughs> stay informed, stay focused, and thank you for joining me on our first year of this channel. And tomorrow starts year two. Stay informed, stay focused, and have a great evening.